Thank you again for tuning in. I see Larry King is here. So thank you, Larry. We're glad to see you. So I want to say hey to Jerry Green. He's he's um, come in and um, also to John Stoll. So John, we're so happy that we had the opportunity to gig with you and Rebecca this year, and we look forward to the next year. So y'all check out Richards and Shills. Just let us know in the comments where you're watching from. That would be great, and that way we can um, come to your house and, and um, Linda can drink all your beer. So that'll be good. Okay, so let's see, Shots, take it away for it. i 
Hey y'all, thanks so much for tuning in. I see some folks, uh, just, uh, I see that um, our friend uh, Jill Shannon Wilrich uh, from Iowa has dialed in and we just would like to say thank you so much. Sorry, uh, you. And, uh, and also, uh, thank you so much, Jerry, for that and appreciate all that. Thank you. And if you would just, um, man, again, thank you for your patience and our, and our technical difficulties there to get things going, but... We got it going on now. So I know we got it going. Oh, and hold the phone. Crystal K. Seymour has just joined the show. Oh, hey, Crystal. Hey, girl. So glad to see you. So glad to see you. Thanks so much, man. Right on time. We're right on time. Oh, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and have a beverage. Oh, I want to. Yes. So Good check morning. this out. Amelia Cantina Cozy. There you go. So um, awesome. I'm gonna get some uh, that. And uh, you know, I don't even know how on this new Facebook interface to uh, to share. So yeah, you know, yeah. Uh, and so it is. So um, we'll take a correspondence course online and learn all that. <laughs> Jeez, little piece. Does everything it, always have to change every two months? I don't think so. I don't know. It's how it's how they do it. So we um uh, we've been during this time uh, working on the um, cantina, also known the Corin Cantina, right now, and uh, we're got some new songs to play tonight. Um, and we just want to say that we're so thankful that y'all gave us your time to be here tonight and um, we just appreciate all your support. Thank you. What about next for him, Shives? Well, okay, we're going to do one. You know, people uh, were asking for it and uh, we haven't played it in a long time. I think we've played this song a total of... Can we play it? We played it once, I think. Right. Here it is twice. Here it is for the here second time. Here it is twice. Mm -hmm. This is the second time. We played it at um, Anderson, Anderson Fair. Fair. Yeah. All right. And light beam shone down the back road where a blue moon. Yeah. 
appreciate this. Uh, for all the applause and everything, all the hearts and the thumbs. Thank you, Up and everything. Thanks for that. Whenever we sing that song, I always feel like we're the Indigo Girls. Man, we are with hats. With hats. So we're just cowboying it out. I got all, I'm, I'm stealing all of Emily Salyer's licks right now. Absolutely. <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah, so welcome to the Corin Cantina. And uh, I saw earlier that uh, my crawdaddy, Mr. Marlon Punch, has dialed in. So thank you. He's, he's dialed in a long way, all the way from spring. Spring, yeah. Yeah, just a whole hour away. So uh, good to see you, honey. Love you and my craw mama. Thank you so much for top dialing in. So, do some thank yous. Some oh thank yeah, let's do it. Let's do some thank yous. You know, I, wrote, I wrote them down. Yes, our whole room is mine rearranged now. It is. It was fantastic when we had it for. It really was. It was like perfect. And then of course, you know, goes to life machine. happened. So yeah, so I want to thank uh, so Jill Shannon Wilrich, and I'm sorry if my accent is destroying that Jill. Uh, she sent us um, that she is thankful. Uh, this is what she said. I'm thankful that I'm retired and have my husband and dog. And a comfortable home to stay safe in. I know many aren't that fortunate, fortunate, and my heart goes out to them. So I agree with you, Jill. So thank you so much for for sending that. And also, um, I want to give a big shout out to all of my nursing friends that have dialed in. Not only for Casey, uh, for Crystal Casey Moore that has come in, but Candy Wilson as well. Uh, Y'all are on the front lines, and we're so grateful. And we hope that pretty soon. Uh, with the vaccine that we'll be all back to uh, playing music live. So I'm thankful for y'all and that you chose the careers you did so that you provide love and support to people. Um, let's see, what else do you have, Shives? Well, mine, mine seems shallow compared to those. No, well, there you have. <laughs> <laughs> now, I am thankful for my Casa de Musica peeps. I, I'm not, I can't tell if anybody's on there. I can't actually see that far. Uh, but big shout out, and I'm super thankful for my Casa de Musica peeps, the alumni. Uh, great group of people. It's actually a group of individuals where uh, we attend workshops with uh, four other individuals that I'm super thankful for. Uh, Eliza Gilkison, uh, John Gorka, Don Richmond, and Cisco Ryder. And those were in no particular order, by the way. But... Uh, great workshop and it keeps me writing songs and it keeps me inspired and everybody is just super supportive and a great they're great people to be around so uh well i'm thankful for that this year especially this year we've had to do virtual workshops and you know people have kind of been like well those aren't so good but i think the people make them and um i've they've been really great so i'm thankful for that nice all right, well, let's uh, let's play another tune here. We can do a uh, this song. We're gonna do another one we haven't played in a while. Yes, so um, it's uh, it has been a while, but this is one of one of my favorites. This was um, our Nancy Griffith inspired um, song, and uh, we wrote this um, from being with our dear friends uh, Louise Mosry, whom and uh, the Cliff Everhart. Uh, we saw them at the uh, the Bugle Boy, and then afterwards we went to grab a beer at the only place in town, which was called the Lone Star Bar, and it's actually a um, it's a double wide um, with a with a fridge, and uh, it's it's a great <laughs> place. So of course, where I'm from in Tennessee, we call that a trouble wide. So we were sitting there, and there were uh, some fans of Cliffs that had joined us, and one of which knew Cliff from when they were young. And she said the line, uh, she said, uh, she was talking about their childhood, and she said, you know, Cliff, I left for Texas, and you left for everywhere. And I was like, well, so I'd like to, I'm also thankful that uh, Cliff Everhart, neither Cliff, Cliff Everhart nor Louise Mosry actually wrote this down to write a song about it so that I could. So I'm thankful for that, too. So there you have it. So this is called I Left for Texas. <laughs>
That was fun. So thanks so much, everybody. Appreciate all the hearts and the thumbs up and everything. We appreciate y'all so much. All right, what have we got next, Shives? I think we're going to play, I think we should play a love song. That one was fun. Oh, okay. but it was about somebody leaving. All right. All right. Okay. Texas. Yeah. Everywhere. So again, thanks so much, y'all, for spending time with us on your Thanksgiving Eve. And uh, we hope that you're having a great night. Uh, I know for us, we're not going anywhere. We're staying here and because uh, we can't be with our family, but we, we're doing that so that uh, we can be and being safe and with that. So uh, this is, this is a love song. Mm -hmm. It's called Hate Train to Bittersville. All right, how, how are we gonna do this? We're, you want that fast? We're going fast. Anastasia dialed in here so and I'll totally mess up your last name so I won't pronounce it 
stay with my ex either. But hey, girl, I'm so glad you dialed in. Love you, sister. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. All right. So, um, oh, let's see. Shots, uh, what do you have there? Uh, I have this. I have a, um, a beautiful Amelia Cantina bottle poncho koozie. Let's check that out right there, and we'll send it so you can see. Up, Extreme close-up with that and there. Uh, so this is uh, our new thing, man. We're we're telling you we uh, we're gonna start uh, Tell doing them about the canteen. We're gonna do our shows. Um, I feel like this is like a puppet. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're gonna start doing our shows from a private Facebook page called the Amelia Cantina, and the reason we're doing that is so many people are saying, "I didn't see your show. I missed it." And we just want it to be a fun, safe place for folks to gather. Um, and so future shows will be done in there. And we would like to invite um, everybody to come be a member of the, uh, the Amelia Cantina. Right. And to be a, since it's a private group, uh, if you will DM us an email address, we will send you an invitation to the group so that you can join. And the first 15 people who do that, don't do it in the comments message us but the first people that 15 people that do it will get a free amelia cantina bottle poncho koozie and it works a little tiny that cakes as yes. well as your beers and everything but um that right there so uh, well, we'll, we'll mail you one uh but uh yeah first 15 people we got 15 of them not including these two these are freely used we would not send those out we're gonna keep those just saying. Just making sure everybody's clear. Absolutely. So we would love to um, to send y'all that and invite you. We'll, what we'll do is we'll email you an invitation, and we'd like to invite you into the cantina, and y'all will be officially VIPs called the ACEs. And uh, that's A-C-E-S. Yep, VIPs, founding yes. members of the ACES. cantina. Always free for founding members of the cantina. And then uh, we're going to do fun things in there. We'll have private concerts, but we're also going to have giveaways uh, we'll do two concerts a month, and then we'll have giveaways uh, that we do during those those concerts. Absolutely. And then some other free stuff. And then once we start coming back live, uh, Cantina members will get special uh, privileges at the gigs. At the gigs. Absolutely. So we'd like to invite y'all. And um, so before we play this next song, um, Shives, I want to give a special uh, shout out to um, some fellow musicians all the way on the East Coast. Moonstone has joined us. Oh, cool. Rich and Pamela, thank you so much. We had such a blast playing your show. And y'all go in, and uh, it's Moonstone Music is where you can find them. Um, and also you can see us on um, our page. We've shared that. We had a great time with them, and they were just a phenomenal duo on the East Coast. So we hope when all this is over, we'll be making a trip there. And um of course, y'all are welcome to come here to Texas and have some of the most amazing tacos you've ever had. Am I right, Sean? That's true. That's true. So let's uh, let's do another Texas song here. So during quarantine, um, during lockdown, Shabs and I uh, we spent uh, a lot of time um, reading and drinking, not at the same time. Uh, so uh, this was a song that was inspired by a story Linda read in a book called. Bad Girls of Texas, and this is about a real life person named Lottie Denno. That she went by a lot of different uh, names, but Lottie Denno was one of them. And they called her the Angel of San Antonio. And tell them, a, tell them what kind of person. So Lottie she was, was this. Uh, she was a gambler, and but she was a uh, she worked in casinos and she dealt cards and stuff like that. But uh, she was considered one of the best gamblers in Texas. And then she used to beat, uh, you know, Doc Holliday and Wyatt Earp at the table. And so she was considered like quite the card aficionado. But she was also known for um, being extremely uh, good at getting men to do things that, you know, she needed to have done but didn't want to do herself. Like, I don't know, um, killing people. So, Texas. Hence why she's in the book, Texas Bad Girls, I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool, though, that she uh, she was a pretty um, self-sufficient individual her entire life, so pretty cool. This is uh, the Angel of San Antonio. What to do? I had to survive. 
Thanks so much. I appreciate that. And uh, also, um, I see my family has dialed in here as well. So I want to say hey to my niece, Ellie, that hey, is Ellie. here. So, so good that y'all are watching and I hope everything's well with y'all. And also, um, I want to give a, a special um, shout out thanks to one of our, our dear friends, Miss um, Alicia Hogue, because I miss it. Uh, Alicia is our uh, our stylist, and uh, she picks out all of these clothes for us to wear. So that um, her talent is just amazing. She's uh, uh, over at the Cavenders off Derry Ashford, and uh, y'all just go see her. Um, and she just puts together such amazing, beautiful looks. And so, Alicia, we love you. So thank you so much for dialing in. Also, one more. I saw that uh, Miss Tracy D. I'm going to mess up Tracy's name. Pronounce Tracy's last name. Desjarnet. Or you can sound French. You say Desjarnet. So even if you mess it up, it still sounds like it's you didn't. There you go. Hey, Tracy, thank you so much for, um, for dialing in here tonight. And thank you for all that you do for the music community. Tracy has been a huge part of the 
uh, development of the music scene and supporting local singers, songwriters, and we appreciate all that you do. You want to give uh, uh, Mike a shout out? You want to give thanks for it? I do. I want to give thanks also for uh, to Mike Fuller, um, uh, Fuller's Guitars, um, Eric, Phil, Joe, Yano, the whole bunch. If I forgot anybody, uh, sorry. But uh, man, we um, we love uh, we love you guys. We appreciate um, y'all taking care of us and our guitarists during this time. They've been super. Mike's always been super supportive, and Mel, and Mel, and uh, Nick, and Nick, and and everybody. So thanks to that. Can't wait to give y'all a hug when we can. So, um, all right. So this one is uh, is by request. So um, earlier today, my friend Anastasia called me and she said, uh, so she had two requests. My gosh, she's obsessed with this song. So I love her. So um, first of all, Anastasia, that's for you. Because she's one of my rock. She goes with me to the metal shows and uh, helps me. I think it would be cool if uh, Anastasia got a tattoo of a strawberry with like a moon, like sort of etched <laughs> into the strawberry. And you can get it right on. Okay, this is a family show. Oh, <laughs> family's watching. And uh, also, my little bear's watching. So, oh. my, my nephew, little bear. So, um, thanks so much, Mom. I miss you so much. And I hope that next year we're all together. So, um, Let's see, so this one is also a favorite of Coach Larry King's. And Larry. Um, so thank you, Larry. And also I saw that Pam Kehoe was Kehoe. on here earlier. So love you, Pam Kehoe. You've been to more of my shows than I have. So I appreciate that <laughs> and all that you do. And uh, and of course, uh, my brother is on here and he's asking for some docking. How can you see that far? Because I'm, uh, I'm good at reading cards from across the room. So there you have it. Uh, Sorry, Bubba, no docking. So, um, um, <laughs> so uh, all right. So this song is um, dedicated to everyone that uh, your first love. You you never forget it, and um, I uh, tell you that it's it's definitely a big part of inspiration for me. Is love that uh, keeps me going, and uh, you never forget the first time. This is called. Strawberry Moon for Anastasia. The Larry King. Think of you the first day of summer. Every time there's a fool. Hanging in the midnight sky. Like a lonesome wife.
promised myself I'd forget about you, but it's hard to do. appreciate all that. Thank you. So uh, we'll do one more for you, but first to uh, just say we're going to be doing our shows from a private Facebook group going forward called the Amelia Cantina, and we'd like to send you an invitation to join us. It's free. We just wanted to create a space where y'all could come in and just to uh, have fun and it, you know, just that way share our music and, and you're always notified when we're playing that way too. Absolutely. And so uh, if y'all would like to be invited to be a charter member of the Amelia Cantina, um, just DM us an email address and we'll send you an invitation and you will be a VIP, also known as an ACE. And we will send you one of these Little ponchos, it's so Texas. I have to tell you, if you put this on your beer someplace, no one will take it. That's true. <laughs> that is true. I used to have a business card that was like a little thing that somebody gave me at a biker event, and it was a thing that you put on top, and it said, leave my drink alone, I have to go pee. Gone to pee. Is that what it was? Yeah, I still have it. Oh, good. Just You're in case, good. you never know. But I'm gonna switch to the koozie, but I have that as my backup. So that might be the next canteen gift, I don't know. Uh, so anyway, if y'all would like one of these, just DM us uh, an email address and we'll send you an invitation and uh, to uh, to join the uh, the cantina. And I think we're going to do a holiday show on uh, Christmas Eve Eve, maybe? Christmas Eve Eve. So on the 23rd, uh, we've got some holiday songs um, and uh, we're going to, we've written a new one that's holiday-ish. No, it's a, it's a it's an official holiday song because you were playing sleigh bells on it at uh, during the live performance. I hadn't told you that yet. Yes, I have to put that on my boot or something like to, that. Yeah, put them on your shoes. Take some lessons from John and uh, of Grifters and Shills. He's so yeah, talented. Right? Gosh, he does all that percussion while they play. So yeah, so this one here. Um, <clears throat> so again, we appreciate y'all for joining us and spending your time with us, and uh, we're so grateful. And we want everybody to stay safe and healthy. So that in twenty twenty one, we can see everybody. And uh, give hugs and everything. Um, this one's a, this one's another two capo. Two capos. So Linda's gonna dial in March uh, in Mars here while she puts on her capos. And again, <coughs> we appreciate all y'all uh, that dialed in tonight, especially my family and all my loved ones and all my chosen family. And uh, so many people that I truly love uh, came on tonight, and I'm really grateful for that. Um, so this one here is uh, inspired by New Mexico. So we uh, we didn't get a chance to get to the desert this year, but we hope to next year. And um, tell me about it, Shaz. Well, so uh, New Mexico. So I mentioned that Casa de Musical Workshop. So one of the prompts that was given was um, uh, uh, write a song uh, about or write a song where trees are talking like right which it was it was sort of given in a much more eloquent way but at the end of the day that's what it came down to so I scoffed at it and I was like I'm not writing that that's stupid who's ever written a song about a tree talking and then I remembered oh yeah John Gorka has a song about a talking tree and oh yeah so does Susan Gibson and I thought you know okay so maybe I should try it peer pressure okay. <clears throat> so, uh, rather than two trees talking to each other, because I felt that had been done already, uh, I made it a uh, tree and a creek. Got, uh, so this is called uh, Cold Creek and a, cot and a Cottonwood, and it actually was inspired by, I actually had two lines written down in a book. Go ahead. <laughs> I don't want to do the same. <laughs> 
two lines down in a boat going in shore. About a cottonwood in Taos, New Mexico, at the Crystal and I, there they line the water. That's how you can always tell where water is. But we were standing at Taos Cows eating ice cream, and uh, I got two lines for a song. And later that day, I ran Julie Roberts off the road. Yes, you did. You almost ran into the <laughs> car. That was awesome. But she waved. She did wave. She's very nice. She's very was nice. Beautiful. Even, okay. in, even in a Volvo. Even in a Volvo. About <laughs> swerving off the road. All right, here we go. Thanks, y'all. This is brand new.
is old Pete. Good times. <laughs> awesome. So thanks, y'all. Hey, I, I saw some other folks that just came over here towards the tail end. So Chef Chris just dialed in. So thank you so much, Chef. Appreciate you. So Chef Chris and Anastasia are the owners of Just Greek here in Houston. Just G-R-K. And uh, they have been so good to us. And uh, they just have the best food. So they're located at uh, in the Energy Corridor uh, between Derry, Ashford, and... The eight. Did I say that right? Anyway, put it in the comments, Anastasia and Chris. And, uh, yeah, so, just Google it to find it. It's amazing, though. I mean, y'all is so good. So, thanks, that. And also, Casey Cruz, Zep's mom. Casey Cruz! So, thank you, Casey, for uh, for dialing in. And uh, Zep is uh, her um, her fur baby and has been giving stits and um, Fashion tips. Fashion tips, that's true. So, uh, he gets all his bow tie suggestions from Zep. Yeah, Casey. so he'll be making a special guest appearance in the future. So, uh, thank you so much for, for everybody uh, for being here tonight and for joining us on Thanksgiving. Um, we Eve. appreciate y'all. Thanksgiving Eve. For, yeah, Eve. Yeah, and thanks for waiting. Sorry about the problems at the beginning, but we appreciate everybody hanging on. Hanging in there, hanging on, and uh, we'll get it worked out. And again, if y'all would like one of the... Uh, Amelia Cantina. Cantina beer koozies, bottle koozies. I've got my bottle night poncho night koozie. Bottle poncho koozie. That's um, like saying poncho. That's right. So made right here in Katy, Texas. That's I right. bet you my friends are desperate helpers. <laughs> so uh, they'll. If you'd like one of those, uh, just DM us an email address, and we'll send you an invitation. And uh, we just would love for y'all to be a part of our our. Uh, cantina and uh we appreciate everything that you're doing for us and supporting us and so private facebook group we'll send you an invitation first 15 get a koozie so thanks again y'all please be safe and uh we love you and we appreciate have a happy 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 everyone. thanksgiving so thanks for joining in and uh before we go out i'm going to play one thing Bye.